So let's look at KMAPS. Using KMAPS is the easiest way to convert any truth table into a simplified Boolean expression directly. Let's take an example. So traditionally, we look at, for example, in a table like this, all the results, all the outputs that were ones, and write the combinations for the inputs that gave us this. So for A0, B0, C0, we have X is equal to 1, so we'll write that. We have the same for the third row, um, in which we have A0, B, C0. We have the next would be A0, B, C, and A, B, C0 plus A0, B0, C0. Now you realize this is a pretty lengthy way of doing an expression, and then after this, we'll have to even simplify it. So instead of this, we could simply use KMAPS to solve this. Let's look at how we do that. So let's make a table first uh, where we club all our inputs and outputs together. So this is how you do that. On one row, you have A, then B, C. Okay. So A could either have the value of 0 or 1. Right. Combinations of B and C could be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Okay, so now let's check. For A, 0, and B, C, 0, 0, the output is 1. So we'd put 1 in the center over here. Um, for A is equal to 1 and B, C, 0, which is this one, we'd have 0. So we'll put that down as 0. For A, 0, and B, C, 0, 1, A, 0, B, C, 0, 1, this one we have zero. So again, we'll have a zero over here for A1 and BC01. A1 and BC01, that'll be a zero, right? Yeah. And for A0 and BC11, A0, BC11, which is this one, we'll have one. The output is 1 of x, so we'll just note it down as 1. For a1 and bc11 over here, all of them are 1s, our output will be 1. For a0 and bc10, a0 and bc10, our output's 1. So let's note down 1 once again. a1 and bc10, a1, bc10, it's 1. So this is basically how a kmap table looks like. Let's solve it now. Now I want you to note something really important before we go to solve it. KMAP tables wrap around. So imagine folding a tin foil around this cylinder. One end of it will touch the other end. Similarly, one end of the KMAP table will touch the other end. Now with this in mind, let's actually solve it. So I've copied our KMAP table over here. So we think about the ones over here specifically those that come together in even numbers. I'll be marking with blue one of the most obvious combinations. These four ones form a box of even numbers because there are four ones, right? Since we kept in mind that KMAP tables actually go around the cylinder that they wrap around, we will also have another combination. Let me mark this combination. This will be another combination of even numbers of ones since there are two ones over here. These are the two possible correct combinations for this K-map. But let's look at some incorrect combinations for the same K-map. If we were to, for example, select this combination, that would be incorrect because we are selecting three ones. And we need an even number, an even uh, combination of ones. Now let's look at one other incorrect combination. So if you notice, we could have selected this, right? It's still even number. Well, we cannot do that because we need to select the largest box, the largest rectangle, the largest square we can draw around the ones. So that's the reason the blue square over there is correct and this is not. Okay, on to solving it. So this part is really the simplest part about uh, K maps. First, let's look at the A part, right? For A's, do we have the value of A changing in the blue box in the blue box it does go from 0 to 1 okay so because it's 0 over here both of these places and it's 1 over here 
So let's look at B. Does the value of B change for the blue box? No, it doesn't change because it stays 1 and 1. In the blue box, that is constant. Does the value of C change? Yeah, that, that does change. So in this case, we retain the value of B because that's the only one of the inputs A, B, and C that remains constant. Okay, so let me just put B down over here because we are retaining that part from the inputs and it'll be B and not B naught. So it's not going to be B naught because the value of B is one. If it were to be zero, then we'd have it as B naught. So let's look at the green box now. So here in the green box, the value of A does not change. It stays zero. It's zero over here and it's zero over here. The value of B, yeah, the value of B does change because it goes from zero to one. Okay, so we'll skip on that. Now the value of C, uh, the value of C is constant because it's zero in this case and it's zero over here as well. So for the green box, we're retaining versions of A and C. Uh, but now you'll notice that A is zero and C is also zero. So we're retaining the uh, zero, zero versions of A and C. So we'll put it down as B plus A naught dot C naught. And this is our simplified, uh, let me just pen it down. This is our simplified B plus A naught C naught. This is our simplified expression for the truth table. You might traditionally write it as um, starting with A, so it might go like A naught C naught plus B but it doesn't really make a difference all right now let's look at another example and let's do this a little more quickly right so first we have a box of six ones let's mark that next um we have one wrapping around we cannot have three we'll have two right so i'll mark these two there are no other possible combinations so let's look at the blue box first and the input for the blue box for A, the values, they do change. In fact, they go from zero to one. And for B as well, they grow from zero to one. So the values do change. So let's look at input C now. It goes from one to one. So that's not a change. So we'll note that down. Even D changes. So we'll just skip that. Now let's look at the green box. So for the green box, the inputs A and B they'll remain the same because they're in the same row, right? So we'll have A naught, B naught. For C, C indeed will change. Goes from one to zero, so we'll not consider that. D, now if we see D will not change, it stays zero. So let's just put that down as D naught. Now we can just pin down our final equation as x is equal to, as per convention, I'll be writing a first, so doesn't really matter, d plus c. All right, guys, that's it. And this is the whole concept of k-maps, and I hope to see you next time.